You didn't make me what I am. You just found me like this. What up, my dudes? So this is the most fun I've had in MX Simulator in two years. <laughs> two years, dog. I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not, like, trying to be funny. I'm not. Listen. So we've been getting on my server basically every single night for, like, the past week for all of my team tryout stuff, right? And I've not only had, like, I think I've got, like, 60 or 70 people in my team tryouts right now. I've got, like, four or five people on the team, right? But we've been getting on there every single night. And we've also had other random people get on my server because it's in the, it shows up on the, you know, the MX Simulator server list. So we'll have, like, you know, like 15 of the people will be from the team tryouts. And then the rest of the people will be just random people on there. And I just can't tell you how much fun it is getting on MX Simulator and having a full gate of people race after race after race on a server, on a track with no road. You don't have to worry about any of that bullshit. You just play the game. Like, you just play the game like it's always been played. I, I mean, it's insane how, how much that feeling has been lost in the past two years because of specifically what a road has done to the random online racing like community right it's just not the same anymore like you just don't see the same server population you used to back in the day whenever i first started playing this game back in the day when i first started you had not only like the newest Supercross tracks on a server with a full gate of people, but you also had all of the older Supercross tracks. So this is back like towards the end of 2014, right? Whenever I first started getting into the game. So basically it was like all the 14 Supercross tracks were on a, a public like main server, right? Full gate of people every single night. Literally you had queue times. You remember what that shit was? Nobody does. Nobody remembers queue times in a, you know, an MX simulator server anymore because it's just not like that. But you had not only that newer Supercross track server back in the day, but you also had the 11, 12, and 13 Supercross tracks, and it was more of like a beginner server on a different server, which would have been like 03, right? So that was on its own server over here on the side for the beginners that couldn't really handle riding on like a newer, like 2014-style Supercross track, and that had a full gate on it too. You had a full gate on the older tracks, you had a full gate on the newer tracks, you had a full gate on the outdoor tracks, you had a full gate on the stock tracks. It's fucking insane. There were, there were full gates everywhere, full servers everywhere. Now it's like you're lucky to find one server in the entire game that has a full gate of people on it. Like you are literally lucky as hell if you find that because it's just not like that anymore. Now it's more like you've got all these people with their team members in a private server running their certain kind of a road settings or whatever the hell it is. But as far as like just hopping on a random server, like a random official server with a full gate of people... It just doesn't exist anymore, really. Like, it just doesn't. I'm just telling you right now, it doesn't. So, me coming back here and having all these dudes in here for the team tryouts and having this full gate of people race after race, God, it's just so much fun. Like, this specific aspect of MX Simulator is the biggest thing that got me addicted to this game right here. Like... Don't get me wrong, the pro racing is fun, and it's really cool to be able to work up to the pro racing, and when the pro racing, there ain't nothing like the feeling of leading a RF, you know, full-blown official pro 450 main event, there's nothing like that feeling, I've done it multiple times, it's a hell of a, it's another level of like, you know, like, uh, uh, I don't want to call it stress, not really stress, but it's more like nerves, right? You get like real life racing nerves whenever you're actually in a full blown, legit full gate of pro racing dudes. And you know, everybody's fast as hell in that, uh, on that actual gate. But even just racing in these random online servers when everybody's on all different kinds of skill level, that's fun in itself too. Like it's fun just to race in this game, period. But like what I was trying to get at was, you know, the pro racing in this game is a lot of fun, right? And the going in there, riding on single player and kind of learning the game, learning the physics, learning how to ride the bike in the game, that's fun too. But what keeps you coming back playing night in and night out is that random online racing server, full gate of dudes, every single time you get on that random online racing server, that's really what does it. Because it, like, you race people, you find somebody on your skill level, you finally win an online, a random online race with a full gate of dudes. So much fun doing that. It's kind of like a pro race before you get to the pro race level. You know what I mean? In a certain sense, right? It's just so much fun being able to battle people and, like, 
practicing your starts with a full gait of people, like I've always said, there is nothing in this game that will make you faster than actually racing in the game with a full gait of people. Nothing. You can sit there and ride in single player every single day till the end of time, and it don't matter. It's not like racing. You understand what I'm saying? Do you like that right there, Barney? <laughs> let, me, uh, let me go back to him. Oh, God, this is too good. Oh, man. Then you get into, like, the fun brake checking and the messing with your buddies and all that kind of stuff. Look at this. Oh, yeah. You like that, dog? Yikes. <laughs> oh, dude. Gotta love it. But either way, it's just so much fun. Like, I just can't tell you how much fun that is. Like, I can sit here. I never get bored of it. When I'm racing on a, on a full gate on a certain track with Noah Road, I literally never get bored of it, ever. I could sit there and ride on it. It's insane how different it is than, like, single player, getting on there on a server with, like, five people. It's just not the same. It's just not the same as getting in there on a on a supercross track with a full gate of people. Or, like, you know, when you try to go in there on a some like random server that's got a road on it and then you got to try to deal with all that flat tracking bullshit just to make the track you know there's none of that bull crap going on it's just hop on that server full gate of people race on it you have a shitload of fun and it's just that simple and it you know me going back in here and getting all this team stuff going and kind of reliving the old days we've been riding on the 17 supercross and outdoor tracks you know 2017 motocross and supercross basically right before they started doing the road in the game and it's just reminded me what I've been missing this whole time. And by the way, just letting some of you guys know, I'm still doing the team tryout stuff. We'll be doing that for another couple of weeks. Still have, you know, openings on the team and all that kind of stuff. Um, and hell, even if you don't want to get on the team, if you just want to hop in here and have a, you know, kind of an old school type server, it's not super old school because we're on the 2017 tracks. But if you want to hop in here on a full gate of dudes and get a lot of racing practice and racing training, get on here, man. My server name is Spencer Turley uh, at... Or hold on, let me get this shit right. Got <laughs> to think of it in my head. Okay, so it's Spencer Turley dot Flowtech MXS dot com, and then the little fucking colon thing or whatever the hell it is. Um, nineteen eight thirty three. That's my name. Nineteen eight three three. So, um, Flowtech1983, that's my server name. So, and you'll, you should see it at the top of the server list on the mxsimulator.com server list anyways, but get on there, man. Hit me up on Instagram, Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. Hit me up on Snapchat, Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. And I will get you into my discord. You can get in there and talk to all of us. There's something so, so fun about having like, you know, 20 dudes in discord and you're all racing in the same server at the same time. Like, dog, it's just... It's the magic of MX Simulator. It really is. Um, but yeah, I still have team openings, by the way. If any guys want to, you know, uh, all you got to do is send me in why you want to be on the team, what class you want to be on and all that, and I will get you in the Discord team tryout role, and I'll get you on there, and you can get involved with all this fun action we've been having every night. So yeah, man, uh, just I just wanted to come in here and make this video because it's so insane coming back. And I don't do a whole lot of these multiplayer race videos anymore, and it's I really want to start doing a lot more of that and having more videos with all you guys in Discord and actually recording everybody talking while we're racing with each other. It's just a hell of fun, hell hell of amount of fun, dude. Like I don't know, it's just a whole another level of the game, and it's it's just been so missing the past two years, and it just reminded me of how good this game actually is when it's played the way it's meant to be played it's just it's insane but um yeah i've been having a lot of fun uh riding with all you guys and uh, i'm gonna start getting a lot more of you guys on the actual team portion just been kind of getting in there getting a feel for everybody all the people that consistently come and ride with us on all the the team riding team tryout riding nights that we have um really just getting to know some of you guys and it's so cool because you get to know people and you open up doors and you help people out and it's just a it's a cool thing that I never really got into before this I mean I've been on it the moto option team back in like 2000 what the fuck was that? that was all the way back in 2015 my first year racing um you know I've been involved with the team before but as far as like getting in discord and really talking to a bunch of people while we're riding I haven't never really done that before and it's really cool being able to do that now but uh yeah I just wanted to come and make a little fun random multiplayer race video I want to do some of these live where i'm actually in there doing it and, and doing this in live streams and stuff like that i think that'll be a lot of fun as well but 
yeah, I just don't do a lot of these multiplayer, you know, random online server racing videos. And, and this is just the start of it, right? It can expand to way more than that. You can have 125 fun races on Ascent or, you know, 500cc races on a custom track or whatever the hell you want to do, you know? And so it really, it's like a whole nother uh, pillar of MX Simulator that I just don't even do that much content on it. It's kind of disappointing. Like, it's like all I do is custom track stuff, track reviews, and pro racing. Actual, literal, you know, recordings of the pro race. But other than that, I don't do a whole lot of, like, actual MX Simulator videos like that. And I want to get into doing a lot more of this. It's just too much fun not to, right? But uh, either way, this, this is uh, just wanted to explain, right? If you want to get involved, you're having trouble finding servers, it's got more than five people on them and shit like that, hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat, Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. I'll get you in my Discord and uh, get you involved in the every night that we're on there riding and racing on my server. And uh, you, you'll learn a lot. You'll have a lot of fun. We've got all different kinds of skill level of riders. And I also moderate my server, obviously. So I've got literally like... Like 30, 40 different random UIDs completely banned from my server, aka Rush Chapman, Braden Carter, JTD, all these jackasses that are known for key sharing and hacking and all that bullshit. I've got all of the all of the UIDs that were caught hacking this pat this previous year. I got all those UIDs completely banned. So um it's it's a very uh you know, I don't, I don't put up with no bullshit in my server. Like I just, I just don't do that. Um, because it technically is a private server, right? So I can do whatever the hell I want to do. <laughs> uh, you like that one, Barney? Huh? Is it a good one, bud? Did you have fun laying on the ground? Huh? <laughs> oh man, we were talking in Discord. I like got up right behind him. He's like, oh God. He's like, try to just let me go past fucking break checked his ass. <laughs> Oh man, too much fun, dog. Too <laughs> much fun. I had to cough while I was laughing shit. But either way, it's fun even going back to these 17 tracks, man. I know they're a little bit old, but like, and the thing about it is, is when you have this short of a race anyways, a lot of, typically your random online servers have like a four to six lap race per race. And even if you was running a road, like even in real life, four to six laps on a track won't even make hardly any ruts on it anyway. So there's really no point to having like a random online server with a road on it anyways, period. JLV kind of directing this towards you here a little bit. There's really no point to it. Like there's no point in having, and it even goes even further. And I don't even know if JLV has like the older tracks, like 11, 12, and 13 Supercross tracks, like the 03 server with the road on it. I don't even know if those have a road on them. I, th I think he has it on some of the newer tracks, but um, there's really no reason in it because you're only running, you know, five, six laps on it. It ain't even making that many ruts in real life anyways in five or six laps. And not only that, but that's, that's really why a lot of people have just completely quit joining the random online servers because it's so unpredictable you never know what the road settings on a lot of times it's way too fucking high just making these completely janky ass ruts you can't even hardly ride on the track unless you're absolutely tiptoeing in your jordans or it just makes just a little bit of a road to where it doesn't even really make a rut it just makes it slick right you guys know what i'm talking about some of you dudes that's really road with a road in this game road with a road in this game <laughs> let me fucking rap a little bit um road with the road you spode uh but yeah so basically like it either makes the road way too high or way too little it's hard it's so hard to get that a road on a random online server in that primo a road amount for the amount of riders that you have and the amount of laps that you're running because the amount of riders is constantly changing right and and basically what a lot of the random online servers do is they allow everybody to vote on in a road setting and let me just tell you this right now most people don't even fucking know what number to put the erode on. So when you kind of just let the random online people decide what the erode is on a random online server, it doesn't work as good as you might would think. It doesn't because 99% of people in that server don't even fucking know what to put the erode on. So a lot of times it's like I say, it's either way too high or way too low. You might as well not even have it in a random online server. I mean, seriously, you might as well not even have it. It's just so much more simple. It, 
a road just overcomplicates everything. Now, if it, if you want to go in there and have a 30 lap race on your personal server and you know exactly how many people is going to be on it and all that, that's different, right? If you want to run a road on that. But as far as a random online racing server, it's literally pointless in having a road on that. It's it's literally pointless. There is no point to it. So either way, I just want to come here and make a fun little multiplayer race video. Uh, I'm going to start doing a lot more of these here in the future. So, yeah, man, any recommendations you guys have for, like, different types of tracks and different kind of bikes we could be on, different kind of racing environments and stuff we could do, definitely let me know down in the comments, you know, what I should do for video ideas and stuff. But, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Don't forget to go hit me up, get involved with all this shit, get on my Discord, hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat. I'll get you in there. We'll get you guys in the server every night like we've been doing. So, yeah, man, looking forward to having a lot of fun. Been having a hell of a time. No matter what skill level you're, you're on, you're going to find somebody on your skill level. Trust me. <laughs> we got everybody from like day one MX Simulator dudes to like we got four or five pros in here at a time. You know, we got amateurs in here. We got all different skill levels of guys. So um, you can have fun no matter what your skill level is. You'll find somebody close to your skill level and you can work your way up that, that badass like random online racing server ladder, which is pretty much a limited amount of like skill levels of people that get on there so you really feel like you're working up a ladder so it's really cool when you do that but either way dudes appreciate all support see you guys on the next video have a good day